We'll use the CMS system again to add a blog to our website. So just to save time, I've already done that here. You can see I have the blog section. I have a few posts in here. I have six posts. I have content in the post and I have different thumbnails for the posts. So we'll go to our website. We'll click the plus icon in the CMS. Go to blog and then click index and it'll automatically add our index page. We'll then copy over our navigation, hero and footer. Go to our blog index and paste that in. And then we'll just reorganize the elements. So we'll remove the blog text and then move our collection list underneath our hero. We need to adjust the gap and padding for this. So we'll first remove the gap and then make the padding zero as well. There we are. We'll change the width of our desktop to 1400, just like the rest of our website. And now we can start styling this. So we'll put a gap of 60 on our collection list. Actually, we'll change it to 80 for now. Change the direction of our wrap. Change the collection list to a grid because we want a three column layout for this blog section. Change the max width to 1240. And then change the collection list columns to three. And then choose our frame, which is the thumbnail. Change the width to fill. Change the height to 220 and then click that lock icon so that it scales on tablet and mobile as well. And then we can start adjusting the styling for our title for the blog posts. We'll add a new text style for this one. Rename it blog post grid title. And then choose our category, choose a text style for this as well. Change the color for this too. Choose our wrap, change the gap of our wrap to 15. Choose our post, change the gap of this to five. Choose our thumbnail, change the radius of it to six. And then we can also add some padding to the bottom of our collection list. And we're nearly there. It's looking pretty good already. What we need to do next is add a date for our blog posts. However, upon selecting a content variable for our date, I realized actually none of our posts have a date. So I ended up going back to the CMS collection. And then what you can do is you can edit fields and then you can press plus and add the date to all of your posts. So we'll add date here, we'll shuffle it around. And now when we add our date, we can set the variable to date. However, nothing was appearing. I was thinking, okay, this is odd. And then I realized it's because none of my posts actually have a date. So I went back to all of my posts and added dates to them. And now we can see our date. Our date is appearing under the category. We can change the styling of this. I ended up going for a medium style. I think it just looks better. And then we'll select our category and date and add a stack to it because we want it to be on the same line. So we'll change the direction to horizontal. We'll change the distribution to start. We'll change the width to fill, the height to fit content. And then for both of our elements, we'll select grow. And there we are, the category and the date are on the same line and we'll also change the gap to 15. We'll change the textile of our category to bold. Now let's make sure it's responsive as well. So we'll add our tablet version. We'll change the padding for our tablet version here. Change the gap for the collection as well. 
then add our phone version. And this is when I realized I didn't actually change the hero text of our blog. So I did that very quickly. And then we can add some breakpoints to our blog title as well. Change the font sizes for all three. Change the footer to their respective versions. And now that is our index page for the blog ready to go. It works on both desktop, tablet, and phone. Now we're going to add our index page. So we're going to go to pages and then click the plus icon again by the CMS, go to blog and add detail page. Here we can see that our detail page definitely needs styling. So we're going to copy over the navigation and the footer. Paste that into our desktop. Shuffle things around. And now we can start styling this. So we need to change the width of our desktop again to 1400, like the rest of our website. We'll select the post, change the width to 800. Actually, I ended up changing this to 900. I think it looked better filling more of the page. We'll select our title, date and category, add a stack to them, and then move our date and category above the title and add a stack to those as well. Change the direction to horizontal. Change the text style of these two. And change the color, of course. And then change the width of them to grow like so. So they're centered. Change the height of our title, date and category to fit and then the fill and then the width to fill. Then we're going to choose our thumbnail and change the height of this. We'll set it to 500. We'll remove the lock icon for now and then set the width to fill and then we'll click the lock icon again. Now we'll add our tablet breakpoint. Make sure that it looks good on there. Then we'll add our phone breakpoint too. We'll change the gap on the desktop version to 80. And then on the tablet version, we'll change the gap to 40. And on the phone version, we'll change it to 20. And there we are. That is our blog detail page also finished and responsive.